Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Eldrinth, the first boss, and today I want to bring you guys some new game news. So first up, the Satiator has been released to the public now, so you can go to the website and order it. I ordered mine the 20th and I received mine the 28th. So 8 days from USA to Sweden, it's pretty nice. And I've been uh, playing some Symphony of the Night, the 4 megabyte hacked version which is supposed to make load times shorter, but I didn't really notice them. And I've also tried the translated version of Symphony of the Night. So someone ported the translations from the PlayStation version onto the Saturn version. But it still has the Japanese uh, vocals and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. Uh, there's some buggy <laughs> translations as well. And uh, I want to give you guys a uh, indication of the price so shipping to Sweden was $97 and the customs taxes cost $76 and a grand total of 433 US dollars buy and that's 3,900 Swedish krona I also want to say that ah. the satiator has been very very easy to use and if you are confused and have one then you can look at retro course video he just uh, put up a um, new video and uh, explaining how to use the satiator very easy next up the ori collector's edition has been finally uh, chipping uh, the game has been out already for the nintendo switch but i've been waiting because i wanted the dual pack with both the Ori and the Will of the Wisps and the Ori and the Blind Forest. So both of the games in the same collector's edition. Very nice. And then next up we have a Kickstarter I backed in the year of 2020 um, in January uh, called Jim Power. And uh, they developed a new game for the NES whilst they found a, a version of the game for the Sega Genesis, which they released. And there's also a SNES version they re-released, which has been polished and fixed, so it's not as <laughs> insanely difficult as the original SNES version. And they also released um, Amiga CD32 version, which is a port of the Amiga version. However, they would put the Turbo Graphics soundtrack into that one. Plus, they included a DOS version of the game. Also, the Turbo Graphics version has been re-released because it was only released for the PC Engine. So now it was it's released for the world to, to play it. And after that, I want to talk about the game called Steel Assault, which is coming to Steam in 2021. It's a really cool Gunstar Heroes kind of game, uh, like Contra slash Gunstar Heroes. And uh, the epic music in the trailer reminds me of Live House SSH. Uh, some really, really great uh, remix music I used to listen to. And uh, I'm, if the music is as good as that in the game, I'm really, really uh, looking forward to it. Oh, and it's kind of sad they put the CRT filter on the trailer because the game supposedly doesn't need to have the CRT filter on, so that's just an option. And I want to talk about the game I finished, Cyber Shadow. So I've been speaking about uh, looking forward to this game for a long time, and uh, it was pretty good. Uh, you can say it's a love letter to Shatterhand, Journey to Celius, Batman, and Super Mario Brothers. There's some great music, uh, not as great as the previously mentioned games though, but really great in its own. There's a pretty cool story in the game, and it's a very, very tight gameplay. Sometimes I think my the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller made some bad moves because sometimes I, might, I couldn't look to their correct direction for some reason. But maybe it's just me being a bad player. <laughs> um, and the visuals is amazing as well. It's really, really good. Some parallax scrolling and nice 8-bit awesomeness. If you like The Messenger, you'll like Cyber Shadow. Pretty much. After that, I want to talk about the Aleste collection released for the, I think it's multiple consoles, but I got the Switch version here. And it came with this really neat magazine here. 
but I'm really looking forward to play the previously mentioned uh, in the game news number one I made. I talked about the GG Alest 3, which uh, is on this collection. It's a brand new Game Gear game released by uh, M2. It's uh, supposed to have pretty good music, uh, because uh, the composer is Manabu Namaki, the guy who made music for the Donpachi, Contra Rebirth, Castlevania Adventure Rebirth, Battle Galega, etc. L like I said last time. <laughs> and then we have a new game called 1993 Shenandoah for Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Microsoft Windows, Linux and Mac OS. This is a new shmop released earlier last year I think and I downloaded it for my Switch just now and played through it. It's only like one hour of gameplay however it features four player simultaneous play so if you invite some friends and uh, maybe have some beer or something you can play this game it's pretty good if you like uh, Turian or Jets and Guns or Xenon 2 this game is gonna be perfect for you uh, sadly the uh, trailer has kind of better music than the game music is in the game but it's it's okay um, it felt a bit re repetitive though but yeah, I think it was a pretty good game and next up we have a game called Phenotopia. Phenotopia. Phenotopia Awakening. Available on Steam and Switch right now. It's sort of like Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. However, it's very text heavy. So there's a lot of dialogue in the beginning and there's some sort of, at a, at a later time, some fetch quests similar to that. But the game is really similar to Zelda because you got the bombs and you got the arrows and you got the slingshot and everything like that. And it's it's got some great sound design uh, with nature sounds and stuff like that and great use of panning to the left and right in the uh, speakers and you've also got some Ocarina of Time music stuff because you got this flute you can play some melodies and you hold the stick in the direction it makes different uh, notes I guess you could say uh, and then there you you have the the cooking with the, sort of the timing of the buttons you have to press B A X Y at like a certain point of the timer and uh, you have to press them correctly within the timer as well else it'll turn into the unedible food just like Breath of the Wild <laughs> yeah and that's all I wanted to talk about this day so I've been playing Symphony of the Night pretty much with the wireless uh, Saturn controller and it works great. I haven't noticed any single time I made uh, wrong movements and it also... I can also make the um, spell uh, combinations without any problem. I think it works great and it feels exactly like a normal Saturn controller. So yeah. I'll be playing a lot of other, uh, there's tons of shmups and tons of uh, fighting games and RPGs and stuff like that, which I've missed. And uh, there's the translation of police and arts. And uh, yeah, there's just tons of games I'm going to play, both on the PS1 and Saturn these days. So yeah, um, I'll be continuing playing this game, um, Phenotopia Awakening. And um, that's all for me. Please like comment and subscribe. Bye guys.